Hey guys, it's Kieran. Okay, so today I wanted to do a run through of my favorite hip hop albums from 2015. There's been so much great music and hip hop released this year. It's really been a stellar year and I just want to make a list of the best ones. Now, before we get into it, I do want to note a number of albums that I have missed and it's quite a lot. So bear with me, I'm going to tell you the albums that are not on this list, not because I didn't think they were good enough, because I simply did not hear them or didn't hear them entirely. And those are uh, Free TC, What A Time To Be Alive, 90059, Darkest Before The Dawn, The Prelude, Prelude, Darkest Before The Dawn, The Prelude, Surf, Fetty Waps, self-titled album, um, Barter 6, and Shrem Life, Shrem Life, Shrem Life, Shrem Life, you know the one. Um, those albums I literally haven't listened to and I feel like a bad hip hop fan because there's so many great albums that I haven't listened to. It's purely because there are so many rap albums out this year and at the end of the day I'm not a music critic, I'm not, you know, that's not my whole thing, I'm just uh, someone who likes listening to music. So I didn't get around to them, but what that does mean is that if 2016 was a bad year in hip hop and I don't think it looks like it will be, but if it is, it means I've got so much great music to catch up on, uh, so we'll definitely try and get around to listening to that. Okay, so first thing to mention is the honourable mentions. Now these are albums that I liked this year, I listened to fully and I liked, um, but were not good enough in my opinion to be in my top 10 albums. First of all, Cherry Bomb by Tyler the Creator. I liked it, uh, I didn't think it was as good as Wolf or Goblin. I didn't really like the feel of it as much as I had liked those albums. It was still a good piece of music, but it just didn't appeal to me that much. Secondly, Integrity by JME. Again, a good album and I'm so pleased that grime music is really getting up on the international stage. It's fantastic and I'm sure 2016 will be even bigger for British hip hop. Uh, but there were a couple of tracks on there for me, or three or four tracks that were not up to the same standard as some of the other ones. Um, so whilst I really liked the album, and again, it was a lot better than Cherry Bomb even, um, it wasn't good enough quite to be in the top 10. And then the one that I'm probably gonna get the most uh, hate I guess about is uh, if you're reading this it's too late by Drake uh, I know I'm wearing that OVO sweatshirt but um, it was good I really like the album and I obviously love the singles you know singles like energy and know yourself uh, but it didn't feel it was as good as say nothing was the same or take care uh, I really didn't and you know um, that's not to say it like I say I didn't like the album at all I actually thought it was a good album but it just didn't get into the top 10. And I've seen it on a number two on someone's list. I think it might have been Rolling Stone. It was at number two on their uh, list of hip hop albums. Fair enough, but I just really didn't think that it was as good as some of the other ones. Uh, I liked that it was a bit more rappy. Um, I don't know, I just felt the beats were a little bit sort of bare. I don't know. Um, so it was a good album, but I'm, I'm waiting for the next Drake album that's officially an album album to be pretty spectacular. So on to the top 10 then, and at number 10, uh, the Incredible True Story by Logic. Um, I kind of hope this album will be a little bit better than it was, uh, but I did still like it and I thought it was a good album. Some of the songs are uh, like Woe, uh, and you know, the theme of it being on a spaceship going to paradise, I like that. Um, so it was a good album. Uh, I think it was about the same or a little bit better than his previous his debut album. Um, but yeah, I would hope for a little bit more from Logic. It's good enough to be top 10 though, uh, and I did enjoy the project. And number nine, Compton by Dr. Dre. Uh, again, this was a fantastic album, and as far as uh, the best produced album, it's definitely up there in the top top five or top three. Uh, fantastic production, as you'd expect. Uh, the rapping was good. A couple of the songs felt a little bit awkward, whether that was Dre's flow or a guest, um, but it was still a very good album, and I think a brilliant album for Dre to go out on. If if not as good as his other two solo albums, it's a fantastic album. At number eight, Before the Money by Joey Badass. Uh, again, I like this album, I really did. It came out, uh, I think, back in January. This is one of the first albums of the year. A lot of good tracks on this album, um, especially uh, things like Escape 120 was one of my favorite. Teach Me, which I think might have been a bonus track. Um, some really great songs on this album. I didn't think it was as good as 1999, his first album, uh, but it was still a good album, and I'm looking forward to even better music from Joey in the future. And number seven, Documentary 2. Uh, now the reason I put this here, this is by the game, is because I'm including Documentary 2 and 2.5. Uh, you've already seen my thoughts on 2.5. If you haven't, there is a link either on screen or in the description for that. Uh, it's, it's a great album. As a two disc album, I think this is where it deserves to be at number seven. If I was looking at Documentary 2.5 on its own, that would probably be higher up. Um, but as a whole album, I think number seven, you should definitely check it out, especially that second disc. It really is fantastic. Um, and yeah, if, you have, if you're not into the game, Great place to start, why not? I know it's the documentary too, but it's still a good place to get involved. Number six, at long last, ASAP. I like this one as well. I like the, the bit more of a psychedelic feel to it that it had. I think I actually slightly preferred it to uh, Long Live ASAP, maybe. Um, they, were, they were quite similar for me, even though they were very different styles. Um, quite similarly good. Uh, so I did like this album. Um, lots of great songs on there. You know, we all remember um, Every Day. 
the Rod Stewart sort of um, sampling on that was fantastic. So a great album. Um, I'm definitely gonna go and revisit that one. And yeah, I enjoyed that album. And it had a, that extra special poignancy actually uh, after Except Yams died, um, which I think maybe maybe made some people overrated a little bit too much, but it definitely helped for me, even as someone who's saying that, uh, I think it made the album a lot more personal coming from ASAP, so I really, I really did like some. And number five, DS2 by Future. Uh, now, this is one of the albums, of, of my top 10, this is probably the album that I have listened to the least, if I'm honest, I only got to listen to it this month. Um, but it is a brilliant album, and I definitely want to go back and listen to it another couple of times, but I thought I couldn't put this on my missed list because it is too good for that. Um, it's a very good album by Future. Um, I think I already said I didn't hear All The Times Will Be Alive with Future and Drake. Um, this is definitely the project to check out of Future if you haven't heard of it, well, you've heard of him, but if you haven't listened to him, check out DS2. It is a very, very strong album, and I know I'll be revisiting it very soon. Number four. I Don't Like Shit, I Don't Go Outside by Earl Sweatshirt. Uh, this was an album that the very first time I listened to it, I was sort of a bit like, a bit bit let down. Because after Doris, there were those songs on Doris where uh, there was the sort of quick rapping Earl at the top of his game, and then that like very retreating Earl. And I wanted to see more of the quick and, and bars and you know, his flow is incredible. Um, so when this album came out and it was at the other end of the spectrum, I was a little bit deflated. Um, but having listened to it a number of times since, it really is a brilliant, dark, haunting piece of work. Um, definitely check it out. Uh, it's it's not music that you're going to drive in your car to. Let's keep it at that. It's definitely music for you to uh, listen to at night or on a rainy day or when you're on your own. Um, but I would definitely check it out. Check out the music videos as well. Um, it's it's a great album. And number three, Tetsuo and Youth by Luke Fiasco. A brilliant album. So much better than Lasers whenever that came out. I think that was about four years ago. Um, so much better than that. Uh, you should check it out. Uh, he also, I remember, retweeted me or something when I tweeted about the album first. So that was cool. Um, but yeah, you should check it out. It's a great album. And if you've been sleeping on it up till now, stop. Go and listen to it. It really does compete with some of the better mainstream albums out there. Number two. When I do these numbers, I feel like doing the machinima, like, number two, but I'm not gonna. So number two, it is Summertime 06 by Vince Staples. Now, you all know that I love Vince Staples. I'm a huge, huge fan. I thought Help and Wait was fantastic. That came out, uh, 2014, that came out, um, and it was brilliant. If you haven't had that, that's a mixtape. It's only about eight songs, seven songs. Um, check that out. But Summertime 06 is fantastic. Uh, it is a haunting, dark, introspective, beautiful piece of music. It's 20 songs long, um, but they're quite short songs, so it's not actually that long of a project. Uh, beautiful no ID beats throughout. Uh, fantastic, some of the highlights, North North, uh, Jump Off The Roof, brilliant. Again, there's been some great music videos released for that in sort of black and white and very dark. Um, it's brilliant. And you know, we heard this rumor that Vince Staples wants to give up rap in two years. I really hope that's not true because he is just going up for, for me, you know, up and up and his next project, whether that's a mixtape or an album or whatever, I will be first in line to buy it because I really, really rate him. So if you haven't heard Vince Staples' new album yet, do check it out, it is definitely worth it. And number one, no surprise, of course, it is To Pimp a Butterfly by Kendrick Lamar. Uh, I don't think that comes to surprise anybody, it's pretty much topped every single best rap album or best hip hop album or even best album um, list that I've looked at. It's, it's the top of, and it's no surprise, you know I love that album, you know I love Kendrick. Um, it's a beautiful album. Everything about it, the combination of jazz and funk and hip hop and soul uh, into one brilliant project. Uh, the messages behind it, but also the songs you can turn up to, it is, it's a beautiful album. I saw a complex article, I think, the other day saying that people wanted to love to Pippa Butterfly and therefore overrated it, almost like a confirmation bias because we wanted the next Kendrick album to be so good that we saw this project and said it was great. Disagree completely. I think it's a fantastic album. Uh, I think it's a generation defining album. Uh, and for hip hop fans, I think we will look back at that in 10 years time still and say that album was one of the best albums of the century. Honestly, of the 21st century, I think it's one of the best albums that I've heard. Uh, so if you haven't heard it yet, and I'm sure you have if you're remotely interested in hip hop, but if you haven't, go and listen to it. And if you're one of those people who listened to it when it first came out in March and didn't like it, 
try and approach it again with a new perspective, um, allow it to do what it wants to do, and it really is fantastic. I think the first few tracks especially are phenomenally good, uh, and also a couple of other points in the album are brilliant, and the rest of the album is just at a solidly sort of 8, 9 out of 10 good level. Um, there really are some standout brilliant tracks. Um, All Right, You, uh, Mortal Man, uh, King Kunta, Wesley's Theory, I actually really love the opener. So go check it out. Also, How Much a Dollar Cost? Sorry, I'm kind of rambling. Um, check it out. It's obviously number one. Uh, yeah, that's that. Okay, so that's it. That is it for this year. It's 2015. Unless Kanye drops an album in the last like five days of the year, uh, that is my top 10 list. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. And out of those albums that I said I didn't listen to, which should be my first one? Um, was there one there that was really good and would have made the top 10? Uh, let me know. And also, I know there were some albums that didn't even make my I missed it list because I really did miss it or I didn't have time to talk about it. So if there's any albums I didn't mention at all in the video, let me know in the comments that I should check them out. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope I get to do more videos in 2016. Until then, bye-bye.